What's going on guys? I'm back here with the hex bug, uh, but these are the hex mods by hex bug. So uh, this is the little car. You guys remember this? So uh, I thought we'd do a, do something to it, you know, mess around with it. Um, I wanted to put those lights in there. I never did put the light kit in there. Um, I wanted to show you guys. There's the box. So the box is completely empty now, and I, I told you I got this for it, and I, I just made everything fit in there, and I'll show you guys how it looks. So I got all the wheels in there. You can see I, I kept them in there, um, their little uh, cardboard, so that way I know what kind of wheels they are. I did the same thing with the tires. So, and I also put this back here, like this. So it's just some clear tape, uh, just so that it holds the book for me back here. You know, hopefully it'll stay better. I didn't really do much effort on it, but just so it has somewhere to be. So let's go ahead and open this up. You guys will be able to see a lot better since it's got that frosted uh, top. Here's all of the springs here. I didn't want to get these all mixed up, but it looks like I didn't tight put the tape on right. So there must be a couple in there probably roaming around. I got some dog bones in there that are roaming around. So I'm just going to go ahead and put those back in. That back in. We won't mess with the suspension today, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Um, there's the tires here. Let me go ahead and show you that. So here's our tires. So I left them right on their um, papers so I would know what they were until I get used to them myself. So, it's, uh, where's that light? Here's our lights. Never um, used them, but let's put these lights on. And let's change out the motor, too. So, we'll first try it like this. I did make a track. I'll show it to you guys right now. So, uh, let's go ahead and put these lights in. And I forgot to, I showed you guys that it lit up red in the back. But when you press the brake, it lights up brighter. So I thought that was really, really cool. Uh, I don't know which ones are the back or the front here. Let's see. I have to get the car. Just put these in really fast just to check. I have to turn the car on real quick. All right. So there it is. These are the front. These are the rear, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the take that back off. I'm gonna turn the car off. Oh, come on. All right, I'll leave the car right there. And uh, I just have to get them into these little holes right here. So these two. Very, well, damn it. I forgot which ones were the back. These are the back, I think it was. These are the front. So these ones just go right into the, they have these little, little holes here that you just pop them into. They have some little tiny holes there. It's not gonna probably want to show you guys. Let me see if I Try to put my hand there. But there's some little, little holes in those white part of those lights there. The clear part. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop that in real quick. And I'm hoping this isn't the wrong one. Man, that is going to be difficult to get in there. It doesn't even want to go in. There we go. Uh, this is going to give me a hard time, isn't it?
Man, I just can't get these things to go in that little. It should be simple. They feel like they just want to fall out or something. Hmm, wondering if I'm going to have to take this apart to put them in correctly because it feels like they just... So that one goes in perfect. Trying to look for the rear here. Where do the rear lights go? Here and here? No, that's... Hmm. Oh, right there. Way up on top. All right. So those ones should just fit in. The reason why that one doesn't fit is because there's something in the way. I'll show you guys right now. There's something in its way. So it's not going to let that go in. But it looks like these are pretty simple to put on. These ones. There we go. And they get pretty snug. It's the, it's that other front one. It's going to give me a, a hard time because there's something in the way where I would have to take it apart in order to uh, get it to sit in there properly. So here it is right there. There's that little piece of plastic is right in my way. Let me, let me get something real quick. So this little piece of plastic here is in the way. Right there, that piece. It's not letting it go into the light bucket properly. So I'm going to try to get it in off camera real quick. And uh, see if we can go from there. Alright, I was actually able to get it in there. It went in there. Didn't give me a hard time. It's in. So they're in there. All right, that's done. And uh, we'll first try it right now with this motor real quick. We'll try it out. But I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to change the motor. It is extremely simple. Check that out, guys. So I want to try the red motor right now. So let's first try this one. I have the track right there. Check it out. So let me put this back on. And it goes this way and it sits in this side first. Oh, get that pushed down properly. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do this off camera just to make sure it's on there properly. There we go, it's back on. Yep, back on. See that, how simple that was? That's extremely simple. And putting it on is like putting on a car on like on the Mini Z. Um, it's almost identical to it. Almost. Alright, so that's in there. And then the front goes like this. There's a little space for it to go in. There it is. It's in. Oh no. The wire's in the way. Yeah. So I'll have to do something about that in the future. So let's go ahead and try it out. Let's see what it can do. I got a track right here, guys. So I'm going to get the other tripod in. We'll check it out. I made this be, um, track. I'm not really too good with tracks, guys. I I had never had one of these cars where you build your own track, so I really don't know how. But uh, I've seen these styles here on the back here. I mean, on the box. So it kind of gives you an idea of how to build one. And uh, there's a simpler one here. So that's the one I did. The top one. So, let's go ahead and try out the car. I got these two little cars just to goof around with. They're, they're fully charged. So, uh, we'll get this car on the track. Give it a shot. So, let me go ahead and uh, get a little more. Get the other tripod and a little more light. 
All right, so I got it all set up. Forgot the transmitter. All right, guys, but before we start, you can see there are the lights. The front are pretty good. Check that out. Break. So that does look pretty cool. Although I was having a bit of an issue right now. Some of the wires, you got to make sure you put the wires in there properly. Um, if not, if you don't put them in properly, um, they will rub against the front tire and it won't work right. The car will appear like as if it's broken. I think it's still doing it. It is. It's still doing it. Yeah, it's still trying to see that it's not letting me turn. It's not letting the wheels turn properly. So when I put the lights in there, I really, really have to put them in there properly. I can't just toss them in there and just go. You know, I have to. Uh, I have to rearrange those wires. Really good. I can't just toss them in. So that kind of sucks. So I'm taking them off. I'm taking them off. We're gonna go ahead and put this back on. I just took them off. I have to uh, rearrange those wires properly. Okay, there it is. So I'm gonna put this back down. There it goes. Much better. And it, it's not like there's a problem, guys. It's the problem is is that uh, I gotta rearrange those wires properly. Man, I suck at this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to make me another try. See, that's the only thing that I didn't like neither. It really, really gets hemmed up quick, guys, really quick. Because it's uh, so low to the floor. And because of that, it does, it gets hemmed up really fast. So, uh, I don't know about this track, but when I use it by, by itself, it's actually pretty fun. I, I, I need to just build another track. Yeah, this is difficult. I need to make a bigger track. So I see how I'm getting caught up. So let me let me fix this, guys. Let me do something. All right. So I took most of the track, picked it up because it works great, guys. Like without it, still two wheel drive. So you see, I, it got pretty good handling. It's not too bad. Also, uh, the proportional steering isn't so bad, guys. It's actually pretty good. And uh, you can give it half, half, half throttle here, guys. You guys can see here. I don't know why it's so low. This uh, camera doesn't do good with, with lights. Doesn't like light. Uh, but it seems to get darker in the light. But this is half throttle here. So if I just turn that down, that turns it down halfway. So now I got half throttle. These were your steering, left and right, your trim. And your power off and over here you got uh these are all your uh, steering i think it is yeah steering so you can have high medium and low steering so it's actually pretty fast so it feels pretty good i like it it even it drives pretty good So let's try something then. Let's try putting in that motor then. If we couldn't do the lights, let's try that motor real fast. 
All right, so let's grab the little cart. Pull it open real quick here. There we go. It's still on. Let's uh, go in here. I have the motor right here. I don't have the high gearing on, but we'll put this better motor in there. So let's go ahead and just turn the car off real quick. Should be off. It is. Take this off. We'll look at this motor real fast. And uh, here's the red one. So it's actually foolproof. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow the dust out of there and cat hair. And uh, oh no, but my pinion ain't on there. I have no pinion. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna have to put the red pinion on then. Give me one second to do that. Um, I have it right here. Here's the higher gearing here. Hmm, but I'm, there it is. Is that the pinion? Is that the other pinion? Or is this the pinion? I think it's this one. There's two of them here. I'm gonna open this up. I put a little bit of tape here so things don't go flying around all over the place. We'll just put that right there. And uh, let me open this up real quick. So this pinion, I don't even know if this pinion fits here. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a little bigger, a little bigger. Man. Yeah, it's going to be fun to take off. I need to push it a little back. Okay, there it is. I can't get those off. It's gonna be difficult, but I can get them off the pinion. There it is, it's on. Although, I think I may have to check something out here. Hmm, something's not right. I think the pinion is not going to match up with that gear. And because of that. Yeah, look at that. It's hitting this part, guys. See? I don't have this. This is not properly in. That's why. Yeah, so I don't think it's. It's either that or it needs to be pushed even further back. I mean, I don't know anything about this. I didn't use it, guys, while, you know, while I had a chance by myself. So I really don't know much about it. It looks like it's hitting there, but it isn't. It's not, actually. But it doesn't look like it's... Well, let me just put this on and check it out. Way. Goes right under those two little guards there. Let's uh, put that little guy there and grab the transmitter. All right. Let's turn the transmitter on. I had to turn it back off. And that's on. Okay. Let's put this. Yeah, that's the thing about this car right here. Sometimes when I turn it on and off, it, even if it does have a little bit of a binding issue, guys, that isn't an issue for me because I already can mod this part right here. 
I can mod this part easily easily and then I can lift the motor up with uh, you know stacks of little paper or something and it'll take off the tension and then I'll just I mean it, it's easy I, I can fix that so even if I did have binding issues it's fixable so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there oh yeah and I forgot to tell you is this how you charge it see the little micro USB feels a little bindish you know so uh, I know in the future I'm going to have to mod that and it's not a big deal even my drift shark I had to mod it too to fit um, the 180 motor in there so let's put that there and let's grab this put you guys back over here and let's check it out see what it does okay it didn't feel a whole lot faster So it's actually pretty good though. Wow, with this motor, it made it right over that. So even if there is a binding issue, it's fixable. I, I looked at it, and it is. I could put, I have like really thin pieces of rubber. I can add it until it pushes up the motor, and then I can, you know, just lightly sand that out. And then when I'm not using that, put the rubber on the top. So, it, yeah, it, I mean, it, you could. You could rig it. But I think it'll be all right. I think it's all right. I won't know until I try that four-wheel dip. I got to put the other dip in, and then we'll see how bindy it is then. But it is fixable, so it's not a big deal. And then even if I did fix it, and it would be fixed, then I would just leave the fast motor in it, you know? Yeah. It's still a fun little car, guys. It really is. Alright guys, that's pretty much the end of this one. I don't want to make the video too long. I did want to show you how they paid attention to detail with the track. Rather than leaving these ends like this, that was really cool of them to give you this. So if the car does go into it, it can just roll over it. So I thought that was really good. The track is like a rubber, so it sits on the floor and doesn't move too easily. If the floor was more flat here, it would like get stuck to it a little better. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool too. So there, next time we'll put the. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to learn a little bit about it, but uh, next time let's put in that diff and change the rims. I'll get those lights to go in properly, so they'll be in there next time. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, we'll be back with this little guy. So stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot.